Insecticide-treated nets are one of the main methods of malaria control. By early 2020, 2 billion of these nets had been distributed worldwide. Most of these nets were distributed in the African region, which carries the heaviest burden of malaria. Wide coverage and use of insecticide-treated nets has contributed significantly to the progress that has been made in reducing malaria cases. But since 2015, this progress has slowed. Progress against malaria has been undermined by humanitarian crises, health system challenges, and restricted funding. Drug and insecticide resistance are also hampering efforts to combat the disease. In many areas, mosquitoes have become resistant to pyrethroids, the insecticide class that most nets are treated with. To combat this, researchers have developed nets that are treated with two active ingredients. In 2017, the World Health Organization started to recommend a new type of insecticide-treated net that combines a pyrethroid with piperonyl butoxide, or PBO, a chemical that enhances the potency of the pyrethroid against resistant mosquitoes. Now, in 2023, WHO has released updated recommendations on new types of insecticide-treated nets. The recommendations were published in WHO's Consolidated Guidelines for Malaria. They cover two classes of insecticide-treated nets that each use two active ingredients. These ingredients have different modes of action. Pyrethroid clofenapyr nets combine a pyrethroid and a pyrrole insecticide to enhance the killing effect of the net. Pyrethroid pyroproxifin nets combine a pyrethroid with an insect growth regulator, which aims to disrupt mosquito growth and reproduction. You can find out more about the latest recommendations in WHO's consolidated guidelines. As different nets become available, national malaria programs are also faced with increasingly challenging decisions on how to make the biggest impact towards malaria control with limited funding spread across multiple interventions. To support national malaria programs and their procurement partners, WHO has also published guidance on the prioritization of nets in situations where resources are limited. As insecticide resistance spreads and increases in intensity, we need to work together to develop and implement new, safe and effective interventions to control malaria. If you have any comments or questions related to this video, please email WHO and we will be glad to help.